You guys know I read the comments. A lot of you have been saying, Melissa, we're really glad that you've been cleaning your house lately, but we want to see you clean someone else's house. So I've listened and you've probably noticed I'm not in my house. I'm in a beautiful house and it belongs to my good friend, Ellen Quist. Hi! <laughs> don't spill your tea. I don't want to clean that up. <laughs> in this video, I have actually come over to Elle's place and she has some cleaning conundrums for me. We're going to go over them and I'm going to show you how to fix it. I am so excited. For those of you who don't know Elle, you really should. She is a mom and lifestyle vlogger. She is so funny. She's beautiful. And um, sometimes her husband's in the video and he cooks and he doesn't wear a shirt sometimes and he can actually get away with not wearing a shirt. Everyone hashtag shirtless Dan and it's those vlogs. <laughs> sometimes I'll text her and I'll be like, ooh, Dan. <laughs> anyway, you guys totally should check it out. Her channel's at L Lindquist and we'll link that for you down below. So here's the deal. Elle lives in a pretty well taken care of home, but even people with the most perfect homes like you still have cleaning questions. Okay, Elle, so throw them at me. What are they? Okay, first one, I have kids. I've got two kids, so I've got kids Okay, two toys. of the cutest little guys, so if you watch I mean, our channel. I mean, I'm biased. <laughs> I'm not, they're but... cute. <laughs> so we have a variety of some wooden, some plastic, some plush. The plush toys, I know how to wash. Mm -hmm. How often and how do I wash those toys? The wood toys, and I actually have a blog post about this, but wood toys, because they're porous, right. you can't get them too, too wet or else they'll start to warp and that kind of stuff. So the neat thing about wood is that it's actually naturally antimicrobial. Oh. Yeah, so in my research, what's been sufficient is a little bit of that rubbing alcohol water mixture, just the equal parts, mm -hmm. spritzing that onto the toy and giving it a quick wipe. So you could do it with just like a spray bottle. Yeah. Amazing. And the rubbing alcohol dries quickly. And yes. the thing is, if you're not doing it all the time and saturating the wood, it's not gonna ruin it. So that's good. Okay. Plastic toys, if they don't have batteries, eyeballs, that kind of stuff, you right. can throw them into a delicates bag and stick them on the top rack of your dishwasher. Stop. Yeah. I haven't told you this before. I've been hand washing like a commoner. If you have something that you're nervous about putting into the dishwasher, what some parents will do is they'll just take like a microfiber cloth, for example, spray it with some all-purpose cleaner and give it a wipe down. I think a lot of parents worry about germs mm -hmm. a little too much. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the research I've done and what I will be doing with this little one is I'm not going to panic too much about germs. Yeah. If there's something really bad that I want to make sure that the kid doesn't get, that's when you want to break out the disinfectants. Right, so a little can... exposure therapy is okay. That's right, but, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So soup and, wa soup and water. Soup and water. Clean with soup and water. Campbell's okay? or yeah, yeah. Um, anything in a can. Okay. Soap and water is perfectly sufficient to clean them. So okay. give your microfiber cloth a spritz or give the little doll a spritz, wipe it down, and you should be good. Question number two. Yeah. So I have a lot of hair mm -hmm. and it, I shed like a Gorgeous golden retriever. Hair. And you also have a golden retriever. I do. So, but my sink, yeah. I get like a slow, um, a slow death yeah. in the sink. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And I've tried the baking soda and vinegar mm -hmm. and like, yeah, this, it won't do. It's not, but I'm scared to use Drano. Like I feel bad for the fish. Right. So I think your sentiment is, is correct in, in two places. First of all, it is the hair that's slowing the drain down. And second of all, using a chemical to break everything down that's already in your drain isn't really going to help. Good. Okay. Because okay. like I don't want to use it anyway. The chemical, I mean, it will work right. at times, but there's a much grosser yet more efficient way to do it. Is it like satisfying gross though? Um, so I won't actually do it. <laughs> Um, so it's just gross, gross. So, so just I gross, make gross. Chad do it. So even in this video, I'm probably okay. going to film and I'm going to make Chad do it. It is disgusting, but it will make all the difference for you. Okay. So if you have a strong stomach, you're absolutely more than welcome to do it. You're going to use, um, you can pick this up at a, a big box store, like a, you know, home big box store. Okay. It's either a really long bendy mascara wand, and you'll get these in the plumbing aisle, you'll see different types of them, or it's like a long uh, line with hooks on it. And you basically pop it into the drain and you start twisting. 
So what do you think happens mm. here? The, yeah, exactly. Like a bowl of spaghetti. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. So it starts to pick up all the hair and the grime and crap that's stuck in your drain. And then you, you do the slow pull. You have like every hold your rubber breath. glove. You yeah. hold your breath. You wear a mask. You have a plastic bag, a huge wad of paper towels, like right. all the supplies, right. so that you don't absolutely freak out when you see it because you, you just might. Um, Chad did this for me one time many years ago when my drain was slow. He literally pulled a human out of the drain. <laughs> it was disgusting. But the, a Yeti. But it, a Yeti, yeah. A mountain goat. But it, it worked perfectly afterward. Okay. So we're going to try that today. Perfect. And then we're going to buy Chad dinner because it's a really gross job. What's your next question? Okay, so I, I have reformed from the bad decision, but I'm still living with the consequence of it. <laughs> I used to keep the washing machine door closed <gasps> because it seemed cleaner to me, but now there's mold and I've tried like all-purpose cleaner, I've tried baking soda, and it looks disgusting. Mm -hmm. And it smells. Tell me, yeah, it smells. When you get close range, it smells. And she smells. No, I don't. You shut your lying <laughs> mouth. <laughs> okay, here is what you're gonna do. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay. We are gonna make up a solution, a really strong solution today. We are gonna take water and we're gonna do like 40 drops of lavender essential oil. And we are going to douse that interior part. Um, the gasket, the rubber gasket, because that's where all the mildew is living yes. right now. And we're just gonna leave that, and that's gonna sit open, and you're gonna keep retreating that area, and eventually, the essential oils are gonna help break down that odor. Really? Yeah. Okay. And if it doesn't, we can try more drastic measures, but I am always of the mind, let's start with the most simple solution and right. then work our way up. And then can anything be done for the actual look of it, like the mold? Look? Let's let's have a look at it. Okay. But I there is a product uh, called Concrobium, and it is uh, mold Which and sounds mildew. Sounds like an author, it's like an old. You know, it sounds like um, a medical or term, detective. a detective. Yeah. Um, it sounds like a, a genome for a mushroom. Like there are so many different things it could sound like, but it's just a cleaning product. Hey. So yeah, Concrobium is really cool. So. If you want, instead, we can treat the area with concrobium and then you can um, douse it like every day. You can give it a spritz. You can kind of do like a two week intervention and see if that helps tone down the odor. Okay, and then I'll, I'll do a follow up on the channel. That's good, that's it, good. Yeah. Okay, next. We have a shower that's really small. I don't even shower in it because I call it the coffin. Hmm. And it's hard to, like, it's hard to you know, clean yourself in there because it's so small, yeah. but it's also hard to clean it well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there's little bits of like mold and mildew starting. Interesting. And I'm using my Interesting. cleaner. Interesting. And I'm scrubbing, but yeah. it's just, it's it keeps coming back. Okay, let me ask you a few questions. So you don't shower in there. Does Dan shower in yes, there? Yes, every day. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm glad that he has a really good hygiene routine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, kudos. Second of all, does he ventilate when he showers? Heck no. Okay, so first things first, when you shower, you either open a window well and for 30 minutes after the shower, mm -hmm. or you turn the fan on while showering and 30 minutes afterward. Okay. If that's not done, mold is inevitable. Okay. Because it's a warm environment, there's water, there's dirt that's come off your body, there's soap scum, hard water, everything kind of feeds each other, and it's a perfect breeding ground for mold and mildew. Okay. Okay? So we have to have a little talk with Dan tonight. Done. Um, now that aside, do you guys squeegee after you shower? No, I did buy like an after shower spray okay. to, to use. Okay. Um, I don't know if he actually uses it or not. Okay, so the after shower spray isn't bad. Squeegee is still the best option because if you remove all of the moisture from the tiles, there's no opportunity for that moisture to be there, right. the mold and mildew won't form. So when I talk about cleaning, I always talk about how to fix the problem and then preventative. So those would be the preventative measures. So really it's about having a talk with Dan. Okay. I wish Dan were here, because then I could just- Give him a little scolding. I could school him yeah. myself, you know? But I'll let you do that as his wife. And then you just keep wife. the squeegee in the shower. And yeah. after each shower, That's right. give it a quick squeege. And for prevent, a quick squeege. I like that. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> give it a quick squeege. 
for the actual mold that's growing in there, we're gonna use the conchromium as well. Okay. So your shower is probably pretty clean. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's clean. There's just like little parts. Yeah. That yeah. But in terms corners. of like soap scum, there's nothing yeah. in there. No. Okay, great. No, no. So it's always good to start with a clean slate with conchromium. We're gonna treat the areas that have the staining. We're gonna let the conchromium sit overnight. And then tomorrow morning, you're gonna retreat it with the conchromium, give it a scrub, get rid of as much of the mold as you can, blot it off, rinse it, let it dry, retreat it with conchromium, and let that dry. Okay. That's the method. Okay. Okay? I feel hopeful. Good. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think these are pretty straightforward. Yeah. But very common I was expecting more questions. like more steps, more this is all doable. No, totally it's all doable. it's all doable. You know how to clean, you're great at doing it. You live in a beautiful house, so I trust that you'll be able to manage this. Okay, I have one more question. Okay. I have the makers cleaning cloths, microfiber you, cleaning cloths. You do. I had them before we ever met. Um, <laughs> I love them. They're genuinely game changing. Thank you. But I will say they were a bit confusing in the beginning because mm -hmm. there's so many, which is good. It's a yeah. good problem to have, but it can be a bit confusing of knowing which one to use for what when you're getting started. Okay, you are not the only person who has this question. Okay. And actually, when we just were about to place another order and we're repackaging it in such a way where we're gonna have like a legend oh, that yes. explains washing instructions and what cloths to use where and how. So Brilliant. yeah, we're just, we're, we've taken a lot of feedback and we're gonna be incorporating that. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Um, the yeah. cloth you have there. <laughs> This is our dish cloth. Yes, that's the waffle weave towel and you have it in the perfect location. It's great for you know any drawing that you have for pots or pans, baking sheets, anything like that. And also really great for hands, um, you know, drying hands after doing dishes. Cause those cotton towels never do anything, right? No, they just move the moisture around. Yeah, yeah, and like they take hours to dry. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, nobody has time. So these dry really quickly. Um, and they are all, all microfiber that we have is antibacterial. So they're not gonna smell, they're not gonna get like grimy and disgusting, which is really nice. You gave me the hack of um, drying your hair with that yeah. one and it works really well. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. And you don't get frizz because it's woven. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah, I have a few of them around the house, <laughs> I do. Um, and you also use it, you have another one that you use for the dog. Yes, I use this one for Ellie. You do, okay, so yeah, it's fine. I mean, okay. you, you dry her paws off? Yeah, okay. and if it's like when it's rainy, she has a long underbelly. <laughs> so so, when, so it's, uh, when it's rainy, she gets a wet underbelly, so we use oh. it to towel her off. Yeah, and okay, so let me tell you about this one. This is the plush, this is the ultra plush cloth. So it's got like the regular kind of microfiber terry style on the back, and then on this side, it's that more plush microfiber it's so absorbent it really is it's almost like um a chamois yes you know that's yep. how absorbent mm -hmm. it is which is really which well, is well really i can great. dry an entire golden retriever yeah. with that and it, it it dries her it's amazing so it's great for cleaning projects and cleaning pets <laughs> that is the cloth that we use for glass and electronics i use it on my computer okay okay, okay so you're doing the right thing yeah yeah, and this is great because it doesn't have the terry towel weave like the other cloths, the other, the plush and the general purpose cloth do, mm -hmm. which means it can't cling on to debris, so it can't scratch anything. Right. Which is why we love it for delicate surfaces. This one I have been using as just my like all day, er day. That's what's that for. right. Yeah, yes. all day, er day. That's the cloth. Hey. Okay. That's your guy or girl. And it's, it's still got, like I can still do dishes with, with this one sometimes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if I'm like wiping surfaces or like, yeah, cleaning countertops. That's whatever. what I, yeah, that's what I love it for too. It's just, it's called general purpose because it's really all purpose. Yes. Use it anywhere. Okay, so I, I was doing okay. Yeah, no, you like understand the cloth lay of the land. Like you got it. Well, and I, I like cleaning, unlike you. I know. That's, that's how it's weird that we're friends, Yeah. right? You like cleaning? I don't like cleaning. It's like, what do we, what do we talk about? But that's why I like fangirled when I met you. Cause I was like, clean, clean. <laughs> I'm like, get away from me. I don't want to talk about that. I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun coming over and giving you these tips and I hope they've brightened up your already beautiful and very clean home. Now you've given me more things to clean. So I'm yeah. excited. Well, you see, I would be like burning on the inside <laughs> and you're like excited to like, okay, let's turn on the cameras. Can I actually go and do this? <laughs> anyway, it has been really fun. And I would love to know in the comments down below, first of all, 
Do you have any questions for Elle? She will be reading the comments, so you can leave those for her. Second of all, did you like this style of video where I came and I crashed, but kind of made it cleaner, Elle's house? And third, if I came to your house, what cleaning question would you ask me? Here are a couple of other videos I think you're gonna love. And if you wanna subscribe to Elle's channel, you can click that button there. You can click this button here to subscribe to Clean My Space. Of course, there's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching, and, and we'll see you next time. time.